Alright, is it this recording this time? Okay, excellent. Hey guys, my name is Dengus McCallum, also known as King Stagos, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie on Sangonia. In the last episode, we entered Rusty Bucket Bay and we finished what was most of the um, collectible items on the outskirts. In this episode, we should be hopefully finishing the rest of this level. So, let us, without further ado, let us begin. So, right here, we got ourselves another toll uh, hole. To another toll hole. <laughs> and we've got to fill it up this time with another few eggs. Even though I destroyed that one. And that will allow us to get those two golden feathers and the Mambo token. So, we just go up here, do a little backflip. That's very nice, we've already got all the gold feather, but it never hurts to get the gold feathers. We've got ourselves another Mambo's token. Fair Wanage, very nice. And there's one more, there's a few more collectible items that we get on this side. One of them is a Jinjo, and a few of them are notes. So there's about four notes over here. Yep, there you go. An evil TNT monster. Who I'm going to bait the hell out of. Okay, maybe not. I guess this detection is really poor in this game. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get that Jinjo. And we are going to swim like mad. Because I think I remember this being the last Jinjo that I need to collect. No. Oh, no, no, no. Don't stop. Don't stop. Okay, I'm glad I got a Jiggy, but don't stop. Get out of here. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Give me air, please! <laughs> bloody game! Bloody, bloody game! Pause the dead! Oh, that was close. But, that finishes all the jiggies. Uh, well, not all the jiggies, what am I saying? All the collectibles that we need to get on the outskirts. So, let's head back onto the Rusty Bucket Bay boat and actually start getting all the collectibles for this area. Right, let's enter this pipe. This one doesn't have a Jiggy, this one only has a few notes and a Mumbo's token. Still important though, because we're still doing 100% completion right now. And the TNT monster once more again. Now, add another one. Whew. Alright, get that Mumbo token. Destroy that evil monster. Collect a few eggs, because we are lacking in some, even though we have over 100, and that's plenty. Destroy the evil monster again. Fail that jump. Just quickly jump up here, jump up here, and destroy the evil tiny monster. Get ourselves the notes, and we got about 63 in total right now. So, I'm just going to quickly check what's over here. Oh, okay, it's just another way to get up there. Okay, and let me just check. Oh, there's a hidden golden feather, but we don't need it because we've already got it. So, let's just head out. And let's enter this pipe of it. Uh, uh, Okay, I didn't need to walk like that. Bloody camera angle forced Banjo to walk over there. I blame the camera angles. But, next to it, you may see these little glass windows that appear to be like objects. So the, re the others seem like textures, but this one seems to pop out. Well, you can destroy these ones. Destroying them, you can hop inside. Oh yeah, this room. This room has actually a, a cool little Easter egg in it. If I just go over here, collect some more notes. 67 notes. I'm a bit worried that's an odd number, but I'll just destroy this guy. Up here? Guess who that is? Yes, me hearties. It be conquer. Conquer the squirrel. Conquer. I thought I left you at the bottom of the sea. I <laughs> don't need reference, but yeah. Conquer, uh... Conquer the gr uh, Conquer the Red Squirrel, Jesus, was the main protagonist of the game uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. That is another game that Rare produced. And unlike Banjo Kazooie, Conquer's Bad Fur Day is not kid friendly, not at all. It has violence. It has sexual themes. It has alcohol in it. It has all the things that parents should never let their kids touch when they're young. I mean, like, when kids are, like, 14 or so, they're going to know what most of that is. They're probably going to find Con Conker's Bad Fur Day hilarious, but they shouldn't let them watch it if they're, like, playing at, like, 8. And I feel sorry for the ones that played Conker's Bad Fur Day when they were 8 and their mums destroyed the Nintendo 64. <laughs> but regardless of that, we are going to be hopping into this empty hole that we destroyed with the TNT in the last episode, obviously. Hmm. I wonder what this is. Who dares enter Boss Boo Box's hold? I've hidden my jigsaw. You never get it. So, this is probably the second boss of the game. 
Like, the first one was uh, Nipper uh, in Treasure Trade Cove, so this is the second boss. Bosses in this game, incredibly lame. But, yeah. So you can probably guess, uh, Boss Moon Box is, in, is just like the, um, yeah, he's just like the Ice Cube guys that we met in uh, Free ZZ Peak. So you just have, the more damage you do to him, the more parts that you split down into him. So these these little parts take two hits. Uh, the, ba the baby ones take one. It's better to just kind of break them down at a time and to use the jump uh, mash attack, although I pretty much use that. So, and there you go. <laughs> You splintered me. Take this. I didn't want it, really. Well, it's my pleasure. I'll take the chicken if you don't want it. And... Oh. Okay, we're about halfway done with Rusty Bucket B. Sounds dire, doesn't it? But trust me, the jiggies, aside from only two, are going to be a lot easier. The other two, I'm not going to spoil why they're going to take a little bit of a while. But you would just have to see. Uh, just walk across here. And... Okay, that's done. We collected all the eggs, so let's head back up. Like back onto the ship, me lassie. Right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go over here, and there is a little sign over here. Little number that says 312111. Keep note of that number because there is a jiggy puzzle that requires you to know that combination. So 312111. And I will show you exactly where that is. If we destroy the single life arm, Marshall. Okay, here we go. See if you remember, the password was 312111. Let's try and hit it down on these switches. Three. One. Two. One. One. And one. Right. Let's grab that and eat it. Just so you know, what are you doing, Dom? All right, so we got about six chickies so far. Fantabulous. And we've also got another little entrance up here. Let's smash this and enter it. Whoosh! Stop and swap music playing. Ow. Yeah, this is another one of the locations where a stop and swap egg is. But as I said before and stated in the previous episodes, because I've already completed Stop and Swap, the egg is not actually appearing. I will put the description of the egg in this room, but just note that in the original game of Banjo-Kazooie, the music didn't play and the egg wasn't there. Alright, so let's just smash down this door and have another evil monster. Die. And we grab ourselves yet another cheeky. We're making progress here, guys. Alright, so we got 7 out of the 10. That means there's only three more, so there's one more that's quite easy to get, and then there's one that the two others are going to be hard. Uh, shut up, guys. Right, the next room we want to go into is over here. I don't think I explored this room in my first playthrough, but let's explore it anyway. So, in here, there's four notes that you need to grab from the other side. Seems simple enough. And then you kill this guy as well. Yeah, this this room's weird. Like it is the um, like it is important for the ship. I understand that they had to have a section like this, but there's only four wrong wrong window. But there's only four notes in here. Like that's it. Nothing really else. Let's walk past this guy. Hope he doesn't eat us. Yeah, that's right. You're not eating me today, son of a. All right, we hop inside here, and we already went here. Sorry, guys. I do not mean to waste time. Right. Oh yeah, I remember where we're going now. Right, uh, so the next thing we want to do is we want to do a faith jump. Okay, it failed. Ooh, whew, that's close. So we want to go up here. Daddy, daddy, da. Because there are two collectible items that we can get on top of here. And these collectible items, they're important. One of them is a Jiggy and one of them is a Mombo's token. So if we make our way across. Oh yeah, we also get some notes. That's That's always nice. Uh, there's about four notes. I think there's four on the other side when you go top here as well. So we'll hop on this. Alright, we want to go to this side, and there's actually a spring jump with an evil monster! So jump up here to get yet another Mumbo's token. There are two more Mumbo's tokens in this level, which means we are pretty much on track 
But again, this is for this playthrough, so I may be wrong. Like, I may have missed one in the previous levels, but regardless of that, we got ourselves another Jiggy. Right. Here we go. Eight out of the ten Jiggies. So, where are the other notes? And where are the other two Jiggies? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to show you why Rusty Bucket Bay is considered to be the hardest level in the entire game. Let's head into the machine room. Yes, everybody, the machine room. This is considered by uh, this is considered by many Banjo Kazooie fans to be the hardest level in the game because there are so many pitfalls and traps that if you lose that if you fall off, you die. So look, look, I'll show you. Look at that! Look at this! If you fall down there, that is an instant death. I have done that. I have died twice in my first playthrough. So let's try not to have it. Oh, I almost died there as well. Uh, Alright. Yep. So you're probably wondering how this all pans out. All right, we'll just collect these notes. That should all be good. So yeah, guys, if you fall off here, you're dead. Completely. Uh, there is no safety mechanism in this. This is why it's considered to be the hardest level. So, But what we have come here for is there is that jiggy we can actually get. Those fans would hurt you if you tried. I think they might also be instant death. We've got to time this right as well. Now! No! No! Okay, let's try that again. All right, so we died, but I should also state something here and now. Every single time you die, those fans, their speed resets. So what you want to do is like every single time you die, you have to go back in the room to hit the switch. It's really tedious, it's kind of annoying, but it is ultimately what you have to do. All right, so we turned down the fans by half, that's good. There's also two Mumbo's tokens in here that we do need to get, but they're kind of hard to get as well, so at least we got the notes. It's this, it's these four notes and this one Jiggy. Ooh, big as luck. I am happy with that. All right, so we got a whole 100 Jiggies. That's very, we got, no, we got all 100 notes. And we got nine Jiggies. Okay, this is good, we're making progress. Right, so for this part, we're going to want to hit the other switch. And we did it! Just so I don't want to lose any more lives, I'm just going to go and grab this. I'm just going to sit here very tightly. Let this rotate. There we go, we want to hit the switch. No, I timed it wrong. Okay, I'm not sure if these actually keep spinning or not. Let's take it. Oh! <laughs> I am amazing. I am amazing. Did you not see that? Okay, no time to talk. I am confident that we're going to do this. Okay, what we have to do is we have to quickly rush across. I don't want to push my luck. I'm going to wait until this goes across. Alright, we have to quickly run. Run, 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 run. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to do this if I... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. Son of a... Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay. Well, I'm still amazing nonetheless because we also got a little... We also get a little bit of a confidence thing. We also got the Mumbo Scrolls. Very happy with that. Very, very happy. But, we'll just have to wait until this thing's on. Yep, as you can see, when the fans... Yep. A simple task, you were sure. But Grunty's engines start once more. So once again, we hit that switch. Cool down these fans. We're going to play it safe at this part. We're not actually going to go for the middle fans. Because that's what's considered to be like the hardest fans across. Like, I've seen so many comments on YouTube videos where people are like saying... 96 notes. Profanity word, <laughs> uh, you rusty bucket bay. 
yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we'll wait until this turns back. All right, we'll hit it now. All right, perfect timing. Right, okay, that slowed down the fans. That's perfect. Right, we're just going to quickly dash across. Oh, that was close. I was kind of... Uh, I was kind of testing luck when I did that. Alright. Alright, all I have to do is I have to double jump across here. I don't like that camera go. And yes! We could make it. We just have to avoid those evil wall creases because I did have to dodge them. Alright, come on, Banjo. Come on, 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 come this is the jiggy that I had so much trouble with when I was a kid. In fact, I never actually completed the game because this jiggy was the hardest thing that I ever experienced. Not even that pipe will stop me. That pipe has actually stopped me once. All right, come on. Come on. Right, I'm in. Sweet. And yes! 10 out of 10 jiggies in this level. Oh, there we go. I have a hundred percented Rusty Bucket Bay. I am very happy, guys. You have no idea how happy I am to have done that. Right. Perfect. Okay, so. We just have to keep going throughout Gruntilda's layer. Just go up here. Up this little ledge. Break the camera again, because, you know, I like to glitch a lot. Walk across here and say goodbye to the hardest level in the game. Rusty Bucket Bay, I bid thee well. Very good. Now over here, the enemy has respawned, the life rock creature. But now that we've completed this area, there are actually there is actually a jiggy that I was missing a little while ago. But we're going to I I will be cutting off the footage to get that, but for now. What I am going to do is I am just going to... Actually, I'm not going to be cutting off. I am going to have the time to talk about something. So, first things first, let's raise the water level. And flood Rusty Bucket Bay's entrance. Like the meanies we are. Aha, Rusty Bucket Bay. That's the treatment you get for giving me so much trouble. Right, okay. But we're going to get that jiggy by hopping into the cauldron monster. Yeah! Because, if you remember, on Mad Monster Mansion, there was a Jiggy over there. Now, there is a way to get that single Jiggy, but it uses the same way we got the Jiggy from FreeZZ Peak. Tilty's fate is looking grim. It's because her brother's dim. Yeah, Grunty's mean. Report Grunty for meanness. Alright, so I jump up here. And we'll hit the switch. Like that, bam. And we'll also quickly make a mad dash. Mad dash. No! No! Again! No! Okay. I guess I'm going to have to cut that off in the next episode. In the next episode of the Banjo Kazooie Let's Play, hopefully we will be actually getting that flight pad to work and getting that jiggy. See you guys then. Oh my god. <laughs>